Good morning! Just. <laughs> and welcome to day number seven of Vlogmas. So this morning, I'm saying this morning, good morning. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I'm saying good morning just because it is actually ten past eleven already. Hello! <laughs> um, yeah, so I've had hold the camera up here. I've had a really lazy morning this morning. I got woken up at six by Lunala wanting out, let her out, gave her her breakfast, then I went back to bed. She let me sleep for another two hours, so managed to get up at eight. Kind of felt a bit rotten this morning. My nose has been running non-stop and I just felt a bit meh. So I've just chilled on the sofa all morning, I'm not gonna lie. Had some breakfast, a cup of tea. I've watched some RuPaul Drag Race. So yeah, I've just had a really lazy morning. But this girl is desperate to go out for a walk. She keeps like going over to the door and pulling at it and stuff. So I've just phoned my sister, see if her and Ariana want to take Carla out for a walk as well. And we're gonna go, go over to the field again, but maybe do a big lap round the village as well, just to get them tired out a bit and make them all happy because she's, she's been outside this morning but not for a walk this morning and she's used to getting a walk first thing. So yeah, that's the plan so far for today. I think I'm going to show you some of my beauty box stuff that I've got over the last couple of months. I've not really done a beauty box reveal in a really long time. I've got a lot of products that I've been using and really like so I thought I'd give you a little review on them. Then when Tyler James is home later on, he's got three days, I think, of his Lego to open, so we're gonna do that. And yeah, anything else is just an added bonus. Might be a short vlog today. They don't have much on, and I kinda just want a chill day. But yeah, I'll take you with me wherever I'm going. So, catch up with you soon. So, managed to make it to the field. Took us a while because when the two dogs are together, they don't walk nicely at all. It's a pooling match. They just want to be together. One wants to be the leader, the other one wants to be the leader. There we go. This is what they're like when they are together. Full on play mode, 24-7. They're nuts. Hello! How are you? Oh, hello Carla. Thanks, get my new jumper to be down. Hello? Ah! You saying hello to everyone? Say hello. Ah! Teddy's avoiding the camera. <laughs> and cosy. Lunala got wet and muddy again. The field was just absolutely soaking but the two dogs looked like they had such an amazing time running about and playing with each other. Did get a bit wild on the walking side so I can't have the camera out because it's a lot of concentration and a lot of trying to get them to walk nicely because when they're together they just want to play even if we're out walking. 
so yeah not much filming when there's the two of them but it was nice to have the two of them together and watching them play and and get Ariana out and running she got a bit dubby as well but lots of fun had so can't complain at that I think I am now just going to do a little bit of cleaning just going to finish my cup of tea and finish watching this episode of RuPaul and then yeah get a little bit of cleaning done maybe make some lunch I should maybe have lunch first actually because it's half past 12 but yeah <laughs> I'll catch in with you later I've just finished making my lunch so I thought I'd show you what I'm having today so I'm having some scrambled eggs with smoked salmon and a couple bits of seeded brown toast so it seems nice and healthy enough put a bit of black pepper through my eggs just to give them a bit of flavour I don't use salt on anything I don't like really like the taste of salt there's only a couple of times that I will actually use salt and that's when I'm getting a chipper and there's probably another time apart from that and like I don't salt pasta I don't salt tatties nothing so yeah pepper seems to be the way forward if you don't want to salt things um <laughs> random but yeah so that's some way to chow down on this and then continue with a bit of cleaning and chilling I'm just trying to have a nice chilled Sunday today not do too much so yeah Luna has just had her lunch too <laughs> okay I'm gonna go over some of the body shop products that I've received in my VIP boxes from the body shop block I've not done any beauty box reveals in such a long time I think maybe July was the last one that I did so I've got my bear with me because I've had to lay everything out separately but I'll start off with my August one and again lovely letter here with some amazing products that I got so the first one is this it's the peppermint intensive cooling foot rescue this stuff is fantastic I have been using it and you can't really see I've got a ring light which is why everything's so light and bright the ring lights just behind the camera which is fab I think it's gonna mean that you're gonna struggle to see in um, some of the products but this stuff smells amazing so all you have to do is put it on to dry clean feet obviously don't put it on to dirty feet why would you and it just really moisturizes your feet I don't know about anyone else but I work in a job where I'm on my feet most of the day you rarely get to sit down and I find that that just ends up making the skin on the bottom of my, of my feet I don't know my words are not coming out just now the skin on the bottom of my feet very dry very rough and this stuff is just a lifesaver so whenever I get out the shower I just give my feet a good dry pop some of this on I've got the body shop sock things you pop on and I just leave it on there let it do its job and it definitely definitely helps so much so yeah if you're the same as me and you get really dry cracked feet get some of this because it just does wonders the next product I got in the August box is Shea Body Butter. Now, I've actually not used this one because I'm trying to use up some of my other body butters. We've got like so many tubs. But this is my favourite scent. It just, oh, I'm going to smell it because it's just amazing. It's so fresh and clean and Oh, it's just fabulous this is my favorite I think if you've never had a body butter before get this one if you like sweet things it's really nice packaging definitely go for this because it's just it smells amazing and it's so moisturizing it's just a fantastic product so I highly recommend this I've always got one of these on the go because I just love them and you do get so I'll show you this is like a miniature one and this is the normal size one but I'll talk about this one a bit later but yeah you, so you get them in travel sizes you can fit them in your handbag if you're going away for the weekend you can take a travel one with you pop out with your shower give yourself a good dry and pop this on your skin and it absorbs so quickly 
and just really moisturises your skin. Love it. Love, love, love it. The next thing I got in the August box, oh, I think I got some body butter on my nose, um, is this Chinese is it ginseng and rice clarifying polishing powder wash. I've only used it once. It is nice and all you do, it's it's like a little powder, I don't know, I'm scared in case I tip it all out. And you just add it to water, rub it all over your face. It's nice. Um, I don't know if it's a favourite product of mine. Maybe if I open it this way and you can see. I don't know if... Oh look, maybe a little bit. <laughs> That's powder. And you just have to put a little bit. It just takes a little. As with all Body Shop products, and I think I say this in every VIP box that I've opened, a little goes a long way. I've not really given it a good try, so I can't really review it. But when I do, I will let you know. I'm just, as I say, I'm trying to use up products that I've already opened so that they don't go to waste. Because all products have like a kind of like an expiry date so once you open them you'll f you normally find them on the back again I don't know if this will focus or not oh well you find it on the back and it's normally in like a little like makeup tub thing and it gives you the expiry date so on this it is 12 months as with a lot of other makeup or beauty products normally are about 12 months but you just need to make sure that you keep on top of that or they're going to go bad and could end up making your skin worse if they're out of date so definitely from opening make sure you use it within the time or just a waste isn't it i did get a couple of sample pots I've got my notes down here um and it was a hemp overnight nourishing rescue mask and a glow boosting microdermabrasion facial exfoliator. Um, both of them I found okay. Hemp stuff I use all the time, especially the hand cream with washing hands all the time, extra, more than normal because of COVID. Hands have gotten really dry and sometimes sore, so I pop on hemp cream last thing at night before I pop into my bed, pop on my Body Shop gloves and leave it overnight and my hands feel good as new in the morning. So I love hemp stuff. I just got a big body butter hemp for my mum. So she's going to let me know how that goes. She's got psoriasis so hopefully that helps her a bit. But yeah, hemp, it's fab. The mass was okay. I think I might have to actually purchase that one and give it a really good try to give it a proper review sometimes with the samples you can't give a fantastic review after one use but hemp stuff i do recommend it's fab hello little one and then the glow boosting microdermabrasion i think i've actually had that before as a product if i'm thinking of the right one and it's really good it just really helps get all of the like rough dry skin off of your face if i'm right i'm pretty sure it's the vitamin c range so the orange bottles and it's it is really good it says here that it revives tired and grumpy skin so the vitamin c stuff that that does all of that because of the i suppose the vitamin c that's in there i don't know i don't know the technical terms but yeah it was a it was a nice product and if it's the one that i'm thinking of i did have it before and i quite liked it my skin's so sensitive though that sometimes things are a bit rough so I think that's why I never repurchased it. It was just too too rough on my skin but as you can see my skin I get really rosy rough red cheeks just patchy and like spotty and stuff and that's just because my skin's so sensitive I've got to keep my facial routine quite simple and just very sensitive and kind products on it. Hello I'm not giving you attention. She's just so cute. Hey, hey. That was the August box. So some really lovely products in there. If I was going to tell you to get anything, I'd recommend two things off of here, which was the Foot Rescue, the Peppermint, and the Shea Body Butter. They are must-haves in any beauty box. For me, anyway. The next box I got, I think we missed a September one. But I can't remember because it was that long ago. Feels like it was years ago. It's not, it's only a few months. So the next box I got was the October box. And if I'm honest, I've not really peered into this. But it's for the same reason I've not used this. 
because I'm just trying to use up other products before I start opening other ones. So we've got the Festive Berry Shower Gel in here and it smells amazing. It kind of, it reminds me of like black currant diluting juice, I suppose. That currant's a berry, so that would make sense. But yeah, it smells really, really nice. It'll be the next one that goes into my refillable bottle for shower gel. I'm trying to use up the strawberry one that I got. It's lasted forever. A little goes a long way. I say that a lot in these videos, but it really does with Body Shop products. Also got the pear bath blend it's a hydrating bath foam i'm not really a bath person so i feel like i'm gonna gift this on but it smells so nice that i kind of don't want to but yeah i just i'm a shower person if i'm ugh, whenever i'm in the bath i just feel like i prune so quickly and i feel like i'm just lying there in my own filth i'd have to go for a shower before and a shower after and that's just a waste of water so I don't really do baths, so I think I might just gift this on. So, Terry, if you're watching, I think this is coming your way. The other thing that we got was the Winter Jasmine Hand Cream. Again, I've not used this yet, but it does smell amazing. Yeah, it smells, oh, it smells as good as I remember. It's fantastic. Again, I've got so many hand creams, so I'm trying to use them first before I use this one. And we also got in here, Oh, yeah, that's right. We didn't get any samples in October, but we got a bonus freebie, which is warm vanilla soap. And it's, it comes in this cute packaging, my words, and you open it up and it's just beautiful. I don't know why. I say this all the time. I genuinely don't know why I can't get the camera to focus when I want to. But it's got the Body Shop logo on there, if you can see. And it smells amazing. It actually doesn't fully smell like vanilla or what you would think vanilla smells like but it still smells absolutely fantastic so again haven't used it yet just because I'm trying to use up other products and I've got like a big one in my bathroom that I'm still trying to get through I prefer hand pumpy soaps rather than bars of but because it's here I will use it eventually <laughs> um and then October, I think, missed November, maybe, and got December, or I can't find my November box. I have no idea. I'm sorry, Mike. I've been a rubbish, rubbish beauty, block, beauty box vlogger because I've just not kept on top of it. Just been too, too busy and, and whatnot. But the December box is actually a bag this beautiful bag i think mike says it's three pounds it's on i've got it here it's on page 16 it's like a gift bag so i'm actually going to use mine maybe as like a travel bag to put toiletries and stuff in because i think it's made of hemp it looks really nice and it's actually a really good size you fit quite a lot of products in here and some of the products that we got was a hair and body mist and I got the lime and matcha one and it smells fantastic oh it really does smell fantastic just give myself a little spray yeah it smells really nice um it's a hair hair and body mist and just released this year it says in my fun fact page from Mike. It smells really nice. I'm definitely going to use this. There is other other scents. I say smells. Smells? Scents? Same thing? Um, there's other ones of these. This is the one that I got. Mike did give different ones out in the bag. And I got this one. But I do really like it. So be using that. The other things we got was tea tree hand wash these are fantastic so i literally just finished my one that i got not that long ago and tea tree is just fab it really gets rid of all the all the germs and stuff and all the stuff that's in it is just really good it smell it's tea tree is almost like a weird smell you either like it or you don't like it fortunately i like it and mike 
did have a deal on this not that long ago. I don't know if it's still running where he's giving you two for a tenner. Maybe. I can't remember. <laughs> but yeah, so this stuff is really, really good. It's like anti-back, basically. It's fab. Hand wash. Brilliant. And we all need it in this current COVID climate. The next thing we got, and this is my most favourite thing that I've ever gotten in a beauty box. It's the, the travel version. And it's not going to let you see it, but it's the travel version. Ooh, oh, there we go. Of the chamomile cleanser. And this stuff is just like Bible. It is just amazing. Everyone needs one of these. I go through these so much. It's a cleansing butter and it takes off your makeup like magic. And everyone that I know that's tried it swears by it. It's just amazing. I'm pretty sure I've already spoken about it. It just melts onto your skin and takes all of that makeup off Oof, like magic. It is fantastic. Highly recommend. And I genuinely think that everyone should just make products this size because they're so cute and I would buy them all in this size. Perfect for travel. Again, like your travel sized body butter. Great for going away for a weekend. This will take off your makeup. This will moisturise your skin and yep, you're ready, set, go. As a sample, we got the new lemon hand wash and it's a nice lemon. I was a bit worried because I, I like lemon, like I love lemon drizzle cake, love lemon when it's in food, love lemon and I would put like lemon in hot water and drink that so I was a bit worried it was going to be like, you know you get the lemon smells but they're just so, what are you doing? they're just so like fake lemon, that makes sense, fake lemon but this isn't, this is like fresh lemon, it's so good, so hand wash definitely might get some of the lemon products because it actually smells like lemon really nice and refreshing and just smells fantastic so i've not actually used this as the hand wash yet i've just smelled it um <laughs> this sound weird but i have and then the drops of youth youth cream so i've actually got a few drops of youth products i've got the dropper one. Oh, i think i'm going to sneeze <coughs> oh dear it's fine, I went in, I dabbed it in, it's fine. Um, <laughs> that's the things that you do. Um, so yeah, I've actually got a few of these products, Drops of Youth, I really like it. I've never had the cream though, so I'm interested to give this a little try. But I've got the, the dropper one, don't know what it's called, and also the bouncy face mask, it's lovely. So if you're wanting to do a face mask, but you don't have time to pop one on and let it dry and peel it off or wash it off or whatever it is. This one you just put it on last thing at night before you go to bed and it just like absorbs into your skin. It does make it feel a bit like tight to begin with but you wake up and it's like it's all gone. Wash off the excess in the morning and you're good to go. So it's nice to have as like a little face mask. But yeah that's all the products that I got in boxes and I'll quickly talk about the products that I've actually bought when Mike's had his sale on and I got this milk and honey milk and honey body butter big size bargain of a tenner they're normally 16 pounds and the honey just really comes through it's such a nice smell great for sensitive skin this range so this is perfect for me oh, it's almond milk and honey never said the almond and then I got a brow gel which I've been after this product for such a long time, but every time I've tried to order it, it's been out of stock. And then I've got a three in one brow sculpt. So Ariana in my makeup video broke my last brow pen, so I needed to get a new one. And I love the Body Shop brow pen. So this is exciting because you've got a pencil on top and then you've got a pen in the middle and then also like a brow gel, coloured gel on the end. I think it's a coloured gel anyway. So excited to try this as well. That's all my body shop products that I've got over the last few months and ones that I've not tried hopefully I'll get reviewed and let you know how they go and the ones that I have tried I've loved so far and I'm excited to give this one a really good bash once I've finished some of my other products. But I'll check in with you later for the rest of Vlogmas. Tyler will be home very soon and we'll do his Lego advent calendar so we'll catch up with you then.
it's now just after eight o'clock and Tyler's home. I've missed yep. you so much. Miss Edu. Did you have a nice weekend? Lots of fun with dad. That's good, I'm glad. So we've opened your advent calendar and on day four you got this piece. So it is the carriage that the pupils from Bobaton, I think that's how you say it, Boba Bobaton. That's how I say Bobatin. Um whoever you say it, the, the French wizarding school, mostly witches, I think, all witches maybe. So it's the carriage that they arrive in with the flying horse, which is so cool how they've made that from Lego. So that was day four. What was day five? Is This, this is lady. Cho Chang. Cho Chang? Yep, so Cho Chang, and it's in her triwizard robes. Oh, there we go, that's a bit better. This must be about the triwizard tournament. It is, so this is the Yule Ball. This is her costume. You can't see it, it's very bloody, unfortunately. I wish I could show you it better. I've got the ring light on and everything and still that's not fixing the issue of it being blurry and even if I come in slowly it doesn't work. So Cho Chang, her robes are beautiful. They've done an amazing job making her robes. So Cho Chang's arrived and today's one is the... Goblet of Fire. So the Goblet of Fire. It's very cool, the blue flames and everything. Hi, did so. you put your name in the cup of the fire? That's what I go, that's what Dumbledore What did you eat like. today? That was dumb, what, what did you eat like. today? You're very hyper. Anyway, that is the calendar up to date now. Obviously you're watching this as day seven, but it's actually only the 6th of December, so that's why we've only opened up to day number six. It's time for your bed? Yeah. And I think we'll just end the vlog here. I'm gonna go to my bed shortly. I've got uniforms to iron and then it is bedtime for me too. So we'll say goodnight. Thank you goodnight. so much for watching. Again, if you've enjoyed watching our videos, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Careful. Hit the subscribe button and then that way you'll get updates of when we upload our content. So thank you so much and we will see you all tomorrow for day number eight. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.